the weekend shooting at a home in Denver's Green Valley Ranch neighborhood sends people running for cover. Two people were shot and one tonight is in critical condition. And this is the second time police have been called to the home in the past two months. Here's Denver 7's Micah Smith. A night of chaos followed by days of searching for answers. Come to find out there were a hundred people in the house next to the house next door having a party Saturday night. Two people were shot, a juvenile male and adult male on 48th place near Green Valley Ranch Boulevard. At last check, the juvenile was still in critical condition and community member Don Bushman says this is the second shooting in two months stemming from this house. I was not surprised that there was a party in that house because in March I discovered because the neighbor next door had a bullet come through her son's bedroom because of an altercation that was taking place in that house I learned was an Airbnb. We reached out to Denver's Department of Excise and Licenses and learned the home does have a short-term rental license. A spokesperson told us the department is reviewing the incident and any violations of city short-term rental rules and regulations can result in license revocation or suspension. I'd like to see the homeowners association do something. Bushman says he loves this neighborhood because of the diversity. We're middle class, largely Latinx and African American. There are lots of younger families. And Bushman says he doesn't want someone's investment property ambitions to continue to impact long-term residents of his neighborhood. Reporting in Green Valley Ranch, Micah Smith, Denver 7.